Hello and welcome back to Tommy Time. I want to show you the gas tank from the Honda E1500 generator. The issue with the tank was the petcock is not available anymore, no longer available. The original petcock, the sediment sump, I have an issue with that. Anyway, it was time to bypass the petcock. I've got a friend that works at a machine shop, and he made me a couple of um, downspouts, and I'll show you these and, and how this is going to work. So this is a backup downspout. He made two exactly the same. I had given him some brass tubing and some brake line. This is old brake line. He chose to use the brass tubing to make the downspout out of the brass. What it was was just some brass tubing from an old garden sprayer. I had kept the tubing as the pump in the sprayer uh, malfunctioned, I kept the tubing, and so this is just the uh, remaining remaining tubing from that. You can also use brake line. So I told him I wanted a press fit, and on the inside of the aluminum I had him make me a, a bevel this is beveled here so I can use marine tex I'm gonna seal the inside tube here with marine tex marine tex is a great product I've used it on many many things that needed something hard it's like an epoxy um, JB weld type thing. So you have the paste and then you have the um, act activator, actuator. You mix it up on a piece of cardboard with the popsicle stick and then fill in around here so the gas won't seep past the brass tubing. That's what I'm going to use, Marine Tex. It comes in gray and white. So I had him leave me enough of a downspout to be able to put the uh, fuel line on and then be able to put a hose clamp on it. So this is going to work perfectly. I'll be able to use my shutoff valve and an inline fuel filter. <clears throat> so I'll show you the dimensions he drew up. The down spout hole is not in the center of the aluminum it's off-centered and I'll show you why here in a moment that's the hole for the downspout you use the same screws for the original petcock and there's a small red washer on each screw you reuse those. I have not come up with a a gasket like material yet. I may use a piece of cork or I'm not sure maybe some sealant to seal this down with I, I don't know or, or a piece of gasket material. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. But that's why this is not in the center is because 
This is oblong here. I told him I wanted the downspout to be in the very center of the this big opening here. That way I can goop up a lot of marine techs around here and it'll be able to fit into the larger side of the hole here. So I'll clean all this up, get rid of this surface rust and all the paint here and then figure out what bonding material I'm going to use. So there you go. So the next step I'm going to do is um, use my apple cider vinegar in the tank here to get rid of all the surface rust on the inside then I'm going to red coat it. This Damon Products red coat is great. I'll seal the inside of the tank with this and it won't rust through. You'll have this thin layer of red coat on the inside. It'll adhere to any of the bare metal and any of the rusty metal. It's roughly $25 a quart and a little bit goes a long way. With one quart I can do two to three large motorcycle tanks. So I'm impressed with this red coat as well and the marine techs. This is like uh, I think 15 bucks online flea bay. You can get either white or gray like I mentioned earlier. I have not had any um, experience with JB Weld maybe that would work just as good whatever you prefer to do to fill in this bevel cut here so it doesn't leak past the uh, downspout so thanks for coming out and checking out my solution to the unavailable Honda Petcock on the E1500 generator. I believe these were manufactured late 70s, like 78 possibly to the early 80s. So there you go. Continue to have a nice day and thanks for checking out my Petcock solution for this gas tank. Come back and see me.